That's the power of the cameras of live people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> Going forward, by the way, um, I was going to ask, like, what's your predictions for the market? Because we obviously don't know how long this is going to last for. Well, where do you see it going? Uh, what do you mean? In terms of like long term or or like um short term? Long term. Let's let actually let's let's do both. Let's tackle both. What, what do you think? Short term first. Uh, of all? Short term was not happen is the market is gonna rally up on certain things. So like um so like on certain industries the the market is gonna right like rally up on. So for example, energy will will get will be fine. I thought energy sector will be really will be really fine in like a few months. That that's gonna be really good because like um the reason why I say energy sector will be really good is because um. Basically, what's happening? I use this, um, Saudi Arabia is the one that's having the most. So Saudi Arabia produces over something like twenty million barrels of oil a day. So what's happening right now is there's like uh, no one's buying oil. So a lot, of, as everyone knows, a lot of people in Saudi Arabia they're rich because of oil, right? Of energy. So that's how they are. How they are. That, that's how they can run the economy the way they do. So what's happening is because no one's buying oil, prices oil prices are really are really low. They now suffering because they're now going back. Like um, some of the billionaires are going bankrupt because they have because like, they can't keep up. They have too much oil and they can't sell the oil. I feel so sorry money. for them. Yeah, yeah, it's really sad. So this so, like the country suffering. So what they want to do is they want to reduce um, the like so basically like they want to cut down the amount of oil barrels they're, they're producing, but they want everyone else in the in the in the world to do the same thing. So. It, so like everyone else does the same thing, that means the oil prices then go back up, and then so oil prices, so like oil prices and energy sector the kind of companies will, will go back to being stable, like going back up again. So that's a really good way the market is gonna go. But in terms of like um, in terms of like um, what's, what's gonna happen long term, we're definitely gonna be into into depression. Like you're hundred percent on that. Like because like it definitely be depression. I, I definitely think it'll be depression because um, I mean. It's a sticky one because what what the central banks are doing right now is they're cutting their because what happened after the depression they created central banks to stop the, ever that happening again. So what they usually do they have policies where central banks either give 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 money into economies, um they pump money in because right now there's a lot of money on the markets, but there's not not but there isn't enough money in terms of like people haven't got money. If you, if you get what I'm saying, so there's money in like with like banks and that kind of stuff, but people haven't got money. That makes sense. So people can so banks will give out loans stuff like that, but people haven't. So that like no one's paying back the loans. So that's what's caused. So what caused the depression is like um, what's what's to make it into into a depression or recession was is because people, because like the constant is going to be to save for people save money and then like um. So because everyone because like because of that everyone wants to save money and stuff like that, no one's spending. So companies are gonna go bust, people are gonna lose their jobs. Um governments governments have been given out all the money, governments are not gonna be borrowing money from central banks, so central banks aren't, aren't giving money anymore to to like individual companies. That makes sense. So more to smaller companies, they're giving loans anymore to smaller companies. Because right now everyone's all happy governments giving them money, but that money needs to come back again somewhere. So Putting ending to depression. I think a lot of people know. I think government knows this. A lot of governments like I feel that's what Trump is saying. Let's start the company again because he's scared. He knows that he wants to be, he wants to he, he wants to like delay the depression until he's after after he's in power, because he knows like if he doesn't start the company again, the depression will start sooner than before the election. That's why he's pushing to start the country as soon as possible. But I definitely think like in the next year or something we'll definitely enter into depression. Like once everything is all settle down and stuff like that because especially like with the two meter distancing rule they have of covid because like um because the, 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 especially in england they're asking business to be on half capacity so how does for example uh, a, 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 like a club or whatever make money of, of half capacity they don't they're actually at a loss if that makes sense yes it does yes yeah do you know what i mean so if that means they're yeah. actually at a loss that makes sense so because they're actually at a loss and whatnot they don't make any money that means they they, they go but that's why right now they're trying to say let's cancel the two meter rule and do a one meter rule but then they're saying that's maybe enough still so that like they're just arguing about canceling the, the two meter rule in england because they're, mm, i did hear about that actually yeah because they're afraid of that because they're afraid of like if they don't if they keep the meter rule 
no companies will make money because they have capacity, meaning people are going to get jobless, broke, and, and then that causes other issues of social frustration. As we're seeing right now, with all that the Black Lives Matter movement is social frustration people because people are getting what they need. So like, they're trying to avoid that quite a lot. So I think like I think a clear a clear theme throughout this whole podcast has been what do you do uh, between ethically between the lives saving lives and saving the economy. So I think that's also apparent for what we're going to be facing in the future. What do you reckon? 